To make a CD weaving, you're going to start out with your CD and you're going to write your name on the back. So get a piece of tape and the back is going to be the side with stuff on it. So the front side is going to be the shiny side. Okay, so after you have your name, the first thing you're going to do is string your warp string. So to do that, you need about four to six feet. And the easy way for me, so I don't have to get a ruler and measure it, is to use the length of your arm. And it's about a foot. So if you hold it, that's one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna do five feet, I think. All right, so once you have that, the first thing is you need to tie the knot on the back. So if you thread it through from the front, then flip it over, and you're gonna tie a knot. Now, square knots are gonna be the best. To do a square knot, you start out like normal, and then instead of just making the same knot again, you're gonna bring your right string over and under. So you're gonna bring it to the back and then bring that string through the hole. Okay, and that's the way you're gonna start. Now, to get your warp, you're gonna bring it through the hole and keep wrapping it around. And you need at least 15. So I'll show you. You're gonna bring it through the hole and you're gonna wrap it around. And it needs to be, it needs to be tight. Not tight enough to where it feels like the CD's about to bend, but tight enough so that it doesn't move. Um, you also, if you choose not to do 15, it has to be an odd number, because if you have an even number of warp strings, then when you start weaving, it's going to get messed up because you're going to have to have two strings next to each other that are going over or under instead of over one and under one. Um, the easy way for me, so I don't have to count them all while I'm going, is thread them in twos. Okay? So like I said, you're going to bring it to the back side. Bring the whole string through the front. And keep doing the same thing. So by keeping them in twos, I know that to get an odd number, I need to have them all be paired up except for one when I'm done. There's going to be one by itself. And to keep these tight while I'm going, I'm using my fingers to hold the string that I just pulled through. Instead of holding it down here and trying to do it, hold the threads on the back and that'll keep, keep them tight. And for this part, you can just use your fingers. You don't need a, a needle right now. Okay, so I'm almost done. So now I have, they're all in pairs. So I know I have an even number right now and I need an odd number. So now I'm going to just pull one, one through. Okay, now to finish this off, to tie it so it stays, you're gonna go back to your first string, the first knot you made, and you're gonna tie the end to that first string. So bring it under, like that, and then you're just going to tie it, 
to itself. So you're taking this string and you looped it underneath the first one with the first knot. Now you're going to tie that string to itself, not another knot. Make sure it stayed tied at the front. Once you have that, you can go ahead and cut the extra off. And now you need to evenly space your warp strings. And so you just you know, eyeball it, move them around with your finger. Because if they're not evenly spaced, then it's gonna, um, your weaving won't turn out evenly. And you also might need to move them from the center as well. Okay, so now I've stringed um, my warp set of strings. So this is, these are the, the strings that are not gonna move from now on. 